My name is Dr. Joyce Bassett, and I'm a cosmetic and a restorative dentist in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm an accredited fellow and a past president of the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. My goal is to share with you the most current information that is available on tooth whitening. These lessons will be fast, thorough, content-filled, and relevant to your everyday practice, and not boring at all. When you're done with these lessons, you and your team will understand the science of whitening and be able to explain to your patients in simple terms. The goal is to increase the yeses for the whitening and for them to start their new smile design with your practice. So let's look at some images of some of my actual patients. She has veneers. She has direct composite. She has a combination of implant restorations, bonding, and veneers. But they all have one thing in common. They were all whitened first. Whitening is the entry point for all of my dental cosmetic procedures. Comprehensive dentistry is combining the art and the science with the goal of improving health, aesthetics, and function. If I ask Siri on my phone, which I ask Siri everyday stuff, what is the true meaning of aesthetics? Aesthetics. It is the nature of beauty. We are not inventing anything new. We are copying something that we think is perfect. Here is an example of, of aesthetics. These are my teeth. They were yellow and monochromatic before I started to whiten. And I was one of the first whitening candidates. So when the products came out, I couldn't wait to use them in my mouth. So teeth that were yellow like mine and monochromatic are the most predictable and they have the most dramatic changes and results when performing a whitening treatment. It's amazing, it's non-invasive. The aesthetic results are beyond. This patient's chief complaint was that his mother couldn't stand to look at his teeth because every time she looked at his teeth, she felt terrible because she knew that his tooth discoloration was a result of her taking tetracycline. It bothered her every time he smiled. His teeth were whitened in the 1990s. It really did not work for him, the whitening procedure, and he was really unhappy with the outcome. Unfortunately, this treatment option, whitening in the 1990s, was not as predictable as it is today. We choose to restore the smile using porcelain laminate veneers, but notice that I copied the exact same shape and form of his original dentition while enhancing what God had given him by changing only the color. This is an excellent example of an aesthetic case. So let's look at another patient that presented in my practice. Where does your eye go when you look at this image? When she came into my practice, she was confused and she did not know exactly what she wanted to have accomplished during her smile reconstruction. She just knew that she did not like her smile. So we started by whitening her entire dentition first, and after the whitening, she decided that she wanted a fuller teeth and longer teeth. She exhibited a very low smile line on the mandibular dentition, but this final lower white and color was chosen and copied when picking the color of the porcelain laminate veneers on the upper teeth. 